On today's adventure, we're in South Florida. We're gonna go dig for fossilized shark teeth. Like Megalodon, looking for the big ones. We're gonna take a big old swamp buggy like that. Pretty deep out into the bayou swamp area. And what we're looking for is fossils. Specifically, the Megalodon fossil. Let's see what we find. Given that most of the waterways in Florida are pretty shallow, there's one particular method of travel that the locals prefer most of all. That is, the airboat. Simply because airboats sit right on top of the water with a giant propeller sitting above the water actually inside the boat. As far as I'm aware, everywhere in the world offers tourist activities, and Florida is no different. In fact, most people when they think of Florida, they either think of beaches or Disney. However, if you put in a little bit of time and research, you can find some absolutely amazing and incredible off the beaten path adventures. And that is what we found here. And as it turns out, this adventure is both family friendly and fairly highly productive. The Peace River is what I would consider to be a very, very rich fossil bed. And so far on this channel, I've found some pretty amazing fossils and done some light duty but incredible rock hounding. But I have never looked for fossils in a location like this or using this method.
So we're out here just getting massive amounts of fossils. It's like there's piles of fossils in every single scoop and screen. So you keep seeing us throwing just tons of tons of fossils back because they're nondescript, they're just fragments. And it's weird to be holding something that's 10 million years old and just toss it back. But it is a fascinating experience. Like this is a giant piece of mastodon fossil. It's just amazing. So yeah, this is an incredible experience. Pulled out of here. We've got an astragalus bone. There's the heel bone. Probably a horse end of a cannon bone. Cannon bone? Yeah. Part, what part is that? Uh, it's where the leg bone forks off. Okay. Probably, it's a deer. Broken or camel or llama tooth. Camelid. Camelid. So it's more of like our llama we have today. What's that right there? <laughs> We've got pavement teeth of a skate. So that's in the batoid family, skates and rays. Soft shell turtle. Soft shell turtle. Yeah. Teeny tiny shark tooth. Teeny <laughs> tiny shark tooth. Now we're gonna go see our loot, try to identify some of these things that we found. All right, we have returned back to home base after digging for fossils here in the Peace River in Florida. Mammoth. Put it together. <laughs> DIY mammoth. <laughs> Alligator vertebrae. So the shark teeth are all mostly Miocene, which is at least 8 million years old. 8 million on the shark yeah. teeth? And uh, the gators, I mean, they've been relatively unchanged for, for a very long time. So they could be anywhere from, uh, it takes a minimum of a couple thousand years to start fossilizing. So okay. <laughs> anywhere from now on. Fossilized piece of antler. Megalodon teeth. Granted, the baby Meg, but that is amazing. Baby Megs, yep. That's, uh... so both Megs. So we've got our bull shark teeth, bull shark, bull shark. Now when we say bull, it's kind of under the umbrella of a bull shark. Um, it's usually referring to a couple different species. So it could be a dusky shark, a um, couple of different of the reef shark, gray shark rather, um, requiem sharks. So these are the lower jaws, lower teeth, and these are the uppers. This real distinct notch here with these cusplets, you got a tiger shark, got a lemon shark. This is a skate, so related to sharks, skate tooth. Fish vertebrae. Um, so tiger shark, tiger shark, yep. bull shark. Yep, here's a nice little lower Hestalis, extinct mako. Snaggletooth shark, so Hemipristis serra. This is a little protrusion there. We call these knuckleheads the lower jaw teeth of them. So you, you can hear someone refer to them alternately as a hemi. Hemipristis is the Latin name, or um, a snaggletooth shark. So pretty cool. And this is an upper. So actually, that's actually pretty good. Um, you can see the upper and the lower. That's lower and shark. upper. Mm -hmm. Snaggletooth shark. These would be my find of the day vertebrates. So we've got representation here. This is a nice perfect horse molar. Love this. And these are our armadillo like creatures we were talking about earlier today. So you've got um, the river favorite are usually the glyptodons. So you got two rosettes here. So the glyptodon looks like a little flower, a central node and a bunch of petals. So they call the yeah. rosette. And so 1800 to 2000 these made up the, uh, the carapace of that animal. Um, about 2000 pounds. And this is a Holmesina. So it's like fossilized leather basically. This is a uh, 
a scoot from a Homocena, which was a, a giant armadillo, we call it. So wow. it's an armadillo-like creature, but we've got our soft shell turtle. We've got a cannon bone, one end of a cannon bone of, I'm gonna say maybe horse. Tortoise spur, very cool. We've got some antler, a couple pieces of antler, so I to tell you. So again, our mammoth molars, uh, trace fossils here. This is that one out there that I really wasn't sure. Almost looks like antler base. It's it's very thick. Right. Not sure exactly. I still have these in my pockets. <laughs> I'm pulling them out of the dryer at the Airbnb. So you got a broken little heartbreaker of a mako. It's that little shard of uh, oh. tusk ivory. And then. Very cool. This is the neural uh, noodles, no, yeah, nuchal scoot of a tortoise. It looks like a butterfly. This is the very back portion of the turtle carapace where the tail pops out. Very cool. Um, another horse molar. But on here we got coprolite, our famous fossilized dung, the river favorite. Fossilized poop. Everybody loves those. really fun experience. If you have an idea for an adventure that we should go on, please put it in the comment section. And if you're looking for some more adventure ideas, you can click one of these links and go to the page because there's literally hundreds of other adventures going on there. And I hope to see you next time. Uh -huh.